Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCE video series. Today's video is on creating roles. Uh, essentially what roles are, are like, um, yeah, templated um, Ansible playbooks with all the relevant files all in one. So it's like a bundle package. So if there's um, common tasks or a, a common um, playbook you may run then you could potentially have it as a role and then you can use the role to basically bundle that and have that on multiple Ansible servers for example or you could have you could download um, other roles from the Ansible um, galaxy uh, I won't cover the download of um, roles from Ansible galaxy I plan to do it in the next video but for this video we're going to generate our own role entirely so all I've done so far is uh, create a new folder called roles and nothing else and let's go ahead and generate a new role so we do ansible hyphen galaxy and then init to initiate and we give it whatever role name we want to call it um, let's just do mod MOTD, so message of the day so the role has been created so if I now do ls minus lr oops, lr we should now have or even maybe do a tree might be a bit cleaner and um, we can see here I've got my MOTD folder and in that folder we have another load of folders so we've got the defaults we've got files handlers a meta directory readme tasks templates tests and bar so just a note regards to each of those so Ansible will look into each directory for within a role for a main.yaml um, so in so each of those folders you'll look for a main.yaml to to execute um, and you have so I'll go through in alphabetical order here so defaults will be the default variables for the role um, these are like the very lowest level variables so if there's anything that overrides the defaults um, yeah it would be overwritten over over whatever is set in the defaults but these are the very base level um, variables will be set in there and just can put it in a uh, main.yaml you then got files so this is for any essentially any files the roles uh, the role actually deploys then you got the handlers um, these are uh, yeah handlers which can be used with within or outside the role essentially meta is metadata for the role so including dependencies and whatnot so you contain it in there tasks are the main list of tasks so that is literally the main uh, folder there mostly uh, all this stuff would go in there then you've got templates so literally any templates are all deployed so ginger 2 templates or whatever uh, we've got tests so th that will be um, any um, test executions it can run so maybe a, a pre-check or something like that you would have it in there and then finally Vars is for any variables for the role um, and you can see yep each one will have um, a lot of them will be empty at the moment so the defaults at the moment has a main.yaml um, some of them have main.yaml already created so files it doesn't because it's for files not for anything but handlers main.yaml we've got meta tasks templates got nothing in there because again we're not really expecting a main.yaml a uh, test has got an inventory and a test.yaml and then finally vars has got a main.yaml in there so if i do a a bit of a a nicer way we can just see the um format there with a the tree so first things first let's go and create the template so I might have to cd into the directory first hey yep get into the directory and just do a clear so at the very top so vim 
templates and we'll just call it message of the day dot j2 for ginger2 and we can just write whatever message we want to be the message of the day on the system um, welcome to I'll just put message step so we can use Ansible variables here so Ansible underscore host name this was generated on an Ansible underscore date underscore time dot date okay double curly brackets so we've got the we're gonna call the get it print the host name we're going to generate the uh, we'll give the time and de date stamp for the uh, generation date for the um, file um, you can put a access to this server is restricted please log out if not using for legitimate use something like that obviously you may have some uh, more wordy form of this please contact and I can put please contact system manager for any issue so the other ones are Ansible standard ones so this so these this variable uh, these ones Ansible can do handle itself the standard uh, Ansible ones but this system manager one uh, we're gonna have to set somewhere so we will go and create a variable after this so that should do that we do a right quit so now I should have the template created let's go and create the variable and we've got a bare bones file at the moment and I only want to set the variable so I want to do system underscore manager and we can set the system manager email address or name or whatever I'll just put call it okay too easy so obviously I can just do all my variables one after the other um, to as many variables as I need let's go ahead and create the actual task so that's just tasks again main.yaml create a new line and we will call it so on to copy the file onto the system and um, we use the template and we're going to say source is templates modtd.ga2 so we don't need to give the full uh, source because we know the directory structure so when they deploy the uh, role with the directory structure will always be exactly the same so always the folder templates will exist and then from templates we'll go to motd.j2 straightforward and then we can do a test so we're on the system we want to put it so etc motd who's going to be the owner of the file in this case we're going to set it as root and the group as root as well because we don't want any sort of tamper with this and then a mode or chmod 0444 4. okay I think that should do it yeah it looks pretty good 
let's right quit that one the next thing would actually be to you create the um, playbook itself that actually calls the role so if we go back up we're gonna have a new playbook uh, we'll just call it yeah MOTD role dot yaml triple dash name via playbook okay we're gonna have hosts I'm just gonna set hosts all I'll use the old venture inventory for I don't really need to um, roles it's the role section now we're gonna say role is MOTD that's the role I just created and we can set variables here as well um, which I'll, I'm just gonna do this okay okay so I'm gonna right quit so I think the only thing left to do is go in here into my role and update the readme so you should really have a detail about the um, role especially if you're going to reuse this um, put a brief description here so um, write um, update the MOTD on the destination server using the MOTD template okay any requirements um, I'm just gonna put I'll just put no specific requirements but yeah you can see we can call out all the variables any dependencies uh, example of how to create the playbook uh, just if you have a license details and then your additional author information so I've just done a bit of an example there it just helps people they can just have a look at that before they use the role and it makes it a bit easier to use so I could just copy of information there okay so let's give this a run and see how it's going Okay, so I can do minus I inventory for the usual stuff. So it's pretty much like any other playbook. I've got a changed, so it looks like it's used it correctly. We now will just log into client one to go and double check. Okay, so what I've got, we have this file was generated on on this date. Access oh so I've also got client one, which is the server name. Access to the server is restricted, please log out. Please contact Colin for any issue, and this is uh, the standard message from um, Linux at the moment because I've enabled uh, the cockpit so uh, socket and yeah, last login information. So yeah, that's worked absolutely fine. So um, that's pretty much how you use a role. Um, so we didn't use all the folders there. So if we go back in into the role. So obviously you we, there is some things here we haven't used like the handlers um, and meta etc if you're not using them you can potentially just remove them from the role keep it nice and clean and lean um, rather than having the additional folders that people uh, or you would have to download on every time um, you want to use that role that's yeah it's pretty much all I want to cover here um, thanks again for for watching I hope it's been useful to you um, right now I've just popped up on my sc on the screen uh, my tea public page uh, that's for any kind of CSG merch if that's anything you're interested in uh, got my Kofi page um, for any kind donations um, if that's uh, something you're interested in um, yep and also just the details of my discord server 
So that's the best place to ask questions. Um, also, we've got obviously you can ask questions in the comments, and I'll try and um, help out where I can. But Discord Pace is a great place. We've got a bit of a community going there, and um, you can reach out to myself and also the community, and someone will try and help you. Um, yeah, it's a great community we're building there. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you at the next video. Cheers.